Hello Sagittarius, this is Renee and welcome back. This is going to be your March 2023 reading for March 1st through the 15th. Okay, let's get into your energy Sagittarius. Let's see what energies are around you. If you have Sagittarius anywhere in your chart, this reading is for you. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay. Okay, we have prayer. Okay. And we have wisdom. At the bottom, we have perfection. I feel like Sagittarius... I feel like something is going on with you. Hmm. You're praying for some kind of knowledge, some kind of insight. And we have honesty. I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. Very interesting. We also have gratitude. Um, I'm thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. So, Sagittarius, I really feel like you're kind of looking for some kind of insight. You're looking for some kind of wisdom. I feel like you may be praying up to about some kind of situation. Um, some kind of situation that you're going through. Let's get some more details in the tarot. What's going on with Sagittarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, March 1st through the 15th. What's going on for Sagittarius, March 1st through the 15th? Okay. Yeah, you're in... You're in need of some sort of communication. I and I don't know why I said you're in need. Um, but there may be some sort of communication coming forward for you. We have the Queen of Wands. Hmm. I get a feeling that there's something that you just need to get up and do. Like you feel like you need to get up and go. Okay. Um, we have the Four of Pentacles. So I feel like you may be working on your finances. You may have to watch your spending. Um, but I feel like there are some choices that need to be made. Some kind of blind choices that you're making at this time. I feel like you need more information before you can even consider a choice to make. There may be this information that you're waiting on with this Page of Pentacles. Some of you could be learning. Learning a new skill to kind of invest your time, invest your thoughts and ideas in. But I feel like you're very busy at the moment, Sagittarius. I feel this very hurried energy. And I feel like Spirit is saying, get up and get moving. Okay? That message is for someone. Get up and get moving. There's something that you need to do. You need to really take action on something. Okay? Um, we have the Ten of Pentacles. Maybe you're, you're waiting for word on some kind of financial situation. Something that's going to bring in a windfall. Abundance. We have the Temperance. <laughs> For some reason, I'm getting balanced a checkbook. We don't even carry checkbooks anymore. Most people have debit cards. They don't balance checkbooks. But I, I get a. I'm getting the 
the words from spirit balance the checkbook it, it may have to do with your spending with maybe someone spending a little bit too much and now you're trying to um, regain your balance regain your stability for the what's been spent but I feel like there's a lot of abundance coming your way, Sagittarius. I feel like there's there's money coming towards you. We have uh, the full card, a new beginning. Very immature energy. Um, I feel like you're just learning something. You're just starting out. You're on this like new journey of discovery, Sagittarius. Hmm. We have the death card. Wow. Interesting. Very interesting. We also have the page of swords. So I feel like there's a lot of curious energy. I feel like there's a lot of communication being said. There's back and forth energy here. Okay. But I feel like with this fool and this, look at this, with the... I'm going to get all of these together. Okay, with the, the Ten of Pentacles, the Temperance, the Fool, and the Death card, I feel like whatever abundance this is, this is bringing you so much balance, so much recovery. Um, I feel like you're, you're able to start fresh, to start brand new. You're in this total transformation. I feel like you're you're transforming from one lifestyle to another. Okay? So, I, I feel like this is like the end of your worries, if that makes sense. Whatever abundance this is, I feel like it's something that will hold you down for, for a while without worrying about it. Maybe you're getting a huge tax refund or maybe you're getting some kind of settlement, some kind of money coming in that is making you very well off. Now, I'm not seeing that you're going to be well off for a lifetime, but I'm seeing that it's very, it's a large enough sum to where it gives you a fresh start, a fresh beginning. You're able to really take care of everything that you need to take care of and kind of transform your lifestyle. Okay, um, give me more of this message, please. Tell me more for Sagittarius. Tell me more for Sagittarius, please. The Page of Pentacles. Definitely some kind of news, some kind of, some kind of action is being taken. I feel like this is you moving. You're very active. Look at this, the Six of Swords. With the, the Knight of Pentacles, the slow and steady runs the race, you know. You, you usually build up a legacy abundance very slowly so that it, it just grows. It expands. It, you know, <clears throat> builds over time. And I feel like with this... Uh, Eight of Wands energy, I feel like you're you're like moving around. You're very busy. Um, the Six of Swords, I feel like you, you're actually moving into this like calmer space where you're not worrying so much. You're like moving away from, from worry, anxiety, and you're like releasing this energy and moving towards, you know, more calm, more relaxed, you know? Um, but I feel like you're very busy, but I feel like it's a very grateful, happy, busy, you know, like you're grateful for this windfall to come through and, you know, you're busy, but you're not struggling. You're not anxious. You're not worrying about anything. You're just moving into this calmer area of your life where your worries are starting to fade. Okay. That's what I'm getting. Um, very interesting, Sagittarius. Let's get a little bit of clarification for Sagittarius. March 1st through the 15th. What do we have for Sagittarius? <clears throat> okay, we have the Judgment card. And we have the uh, King of Swords. So I feel like whatever this is coming in, I feel like 
it's like a new calling for you it's something brand new it's making you feel renewed refreshed like a fresh breeze of new hope coming through and I feel like you're able to release your worries you're able not to um, struggle you know with things so many things being on your mind at once I feel like you're able to really control what it is you have to think about okay um hmm we also have the temperance so I feel like there, there's recovery, there's balance. I feel like you're regaining your self-control and harmony in this situation. Look how bright that sun is coming up. Hmm. Let's get some more clarity for Sagittarius. Tell me more about this situation. <clears throat> Tell me more about this situation, please. Okay. Yeah, we had the Nine of Swords in reverse. So I feel like you're releasing anxiety. You're releasing the worry. You're moving past that energy. And you're moving into a more calm, a more relaxed state of being. Um, hmm. Beautiful energy, um, Sagittarius. We also have the hangman. So I definitely feel like, you know, we have this here. But I definitely feel like wisdom. Now you're looking at things from a different perspective. You're looking. And I feel like you're looking at this from the other side of where you've been. Like you've been here needing something. But now you're looking at things from the other side of the fence. Where you don't need as much. Okay, that, that's what I'm getting with this hangman energy. I feel like you have all the knowledge and the wisdom. And you're looking at things from a totally different perspective. A totally different vision. Okay, because I feel like you've sacrificed so much in the past. There's something that has become a windfall for you. Okay. <clears throat> We have the Queen of Wands at the bottom, so I feel like this is new passion, new drive. I feel like, you know, with this Queen of Wands, we have the Queen of Wands twice. So I definitely feel like you have this new assertiveness, a new confidence within you. And I feel like that Queen of Wands energy is really coming out. It's really being exposed and revealed at the moment because I, I I just feel so confident and so vibrant as I'm doing this reading for you it's, it's very interesting how how this reading is going so far okay tell me more about this for Sagittarius the strength card wow okay Definitely, definitely you're gaining your strength. You're gaining your confidence. Um, you're moving into a better, higher position. Um, I feel like at the moment, Sagittarius, I feel like you, you don't have any worries. You, there's nothing to worry about. You are fearless at the moment. Because of what's coming, what's coming forward for you. Okay. If you if you take a look really closely, you see that this frog and this snake are moving from the land to the water. So I feel like you're you're moving from a place of feeling so grounded, so balanced, that you're moving into emotion, straight to fire or assertive action you're like fearless at the moment you have all this ability all this strength and knowledge and the sun beautiful something is making you very happy 
something is bringing you a lot of enjoyment i feel like you're you're spending time with your family and you may be spending time with your family you know um but i feel like your focus is definitely on what it is that makes you happy you're focused on yourself at the moment and that's very beautiful um, because I feel like, you know, you you have made all these sacrifices in the past and now you're able to really put that focus on yourself, Sagittarius. You're not able to just think about the things that you want to do. I feel like now you're able to do the things you want to do. Okay? Beautiful energy. I'm really enjoying this reading with you because it's it's really vibrant and clear, okay? There it's like there's no second guessing this because I feel like there's so much coming in for you. Okay, let's get some angel cards for Sagittarius. Let's get some angel cards. Okay, we have divine alchemy. Whatever this is that you're creating in your life, I feel like this is bringing so much abundance, so much happiness to you. Move beyond your current challenges and focus on what you desire. Okay? What you desire is within your reach. It's just like a grasp away. Okay? Because this is March 1st through the 15th. So something is coming right around the corner for you, Sagittarius. And I feel like it's very beautiful energy. Okay. We also have life force. Express your driving passion. Sensual and sexual powers are increased. So if you have love in the forecast, Sagittarius, I feel like love is available to you. Okay, we didn't get very many love cards in this reading, but I and spirit is letting you know, you know, your sensual and sexual powers are increased. So, I mean, I feel like love is here for you. Look what we have on the bottom. Love and peace. Let go of the need to be right. Choose peace. Mother healing is possible at this time. Okay, um, let's get some monology cards for Sagittarius. I want to see what the monology has to say for you. Okay, we have have faith in your dreams. Whatever dream you're producing, I feel like it's very satisfying. We also have surrender to the divine. That's that hangman energy. Surrendering. Letting the universe provide to you what they promised. Because I feel like what that is, is coming to you. Okay. Um, show the world the real you. Okay. So let yourself be known, Sagittarius. You have the power. You have the ability. Okay. Um, let's take a look at the manifestation. Monology. Unleash your kindest self. First quarter moon in Capricorn. Definitely. And we have first quarter moon in Taurus. Release control. So there may be something that you need to release control of. But look at this. That's just another way to say surrender. Because Sagittarius, you're shining at the moment. Everything is bright for you, or it will be bright for you, okay? Um, beautiful energy. Okay, Sag, that is what I have for you for March 2023. So if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. Take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more messages that may clarify and until your next reading many blessings to you love and light